Hey guys, it's Mo, and today I have a video for you on foiling. It's a long-awaited vow to foils, planner stickers video, and you're going to hear Marcus in the background here. I have some time to film, um, so uh, he's just playing upstairs with Zach, but we are going to do some foiling today, and I go back and forth between is foiling at home worth it or not so we'll talk about that and whatnot but this is what we're going to work on today this is uh free for you guys you'll find it down in the uh, description below but it is a set of foil overlays um that you can either make with your silhouette or your cricket today we're going to do it with the cricket because y'all know i love to share cricket stuff with you um so yeah, this is for a standard vertical layout that you can use for like your inauguration spreads or whatever um, that you may be doing in January. I think I'm just going to keep it to standard vertical. I may make a long vertical depending on when I upload this and if I have time to. So check the description. I'm doing standard vertical layout this week um, for the inauguration. So you may be doing that as well. I don't know. Um, so let's go over to Cricut. We have our new, you can see I was working on some overlay stuff here. Uh, we have our Cricut design space. We're going to open up a new project. Uh, I want to replace it. I was trying, for some reason I tried to film this already and it wasn't working and I was like, excuse me. Um, so we'll go to upload. We're going to go to upload image. We are going to browse. We're going to find our, um, file which is going to be the png file i don't know why it lists all of these files i know why it lists this one this one's a png but you want to find your png file not silhouette not the blackout and not your uh, pdf files so we're going to open it we're going to i always click complex i don't know whether that's needed or not we're going to click continue we're going to take off this branding strip i usually do use the eraser and take off this branding strip here whoa you just got to be careful that you don't go into the uh, design. Beep, 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 beep. Take this off. Okay. And then hit continue. We're going to save it as a print and cut image. You can name it whatever you want and hit save. And then we're going to insert this boop into our canvas. Now we're going to need to resize it um, to fit the print and cut area. So we're going to go up here, make sure our proportions are locked and change this to 6.75 and that'll bring it down to 9.25. And that is the print and cut area of the Cricut Explorer. So um, I guess I could go over what you get in this little guy. Um, like I said, this is free. So you're going to get the silhouette um, file as well. So you can do this with your silhouette. Uh, I like to share with you guys things to do with your Cricut. And the reason, if you can see this, the reason this looks like it's got a white background and then the black text is because the Cricut prints PNG images. So we need to tell it to cut to that this blank white space here is a shape. So it's going to cut around the shape. I know it can look kind of odd. Let's go over here. I'll show you, whoops, I'll show you some of the, um, foil things I have over on Etsy and how it looks kind of odd. You may be thinking, why, why is there white around the, um, the overlays? That makes no sense. Here is a good example. Let's bring this over here for it to load. So you can see what, why is it like this? Why is it going to have these white this white background. Well, that is because we have to tell the cricket that we need to cut this whole shape out instead of trying to cut this little crazy looking uh, firework thing out. So we have to say this whole thing is a shape. Um, cause it, like, like the blackout image, we need to tell the cricket, you need to cut this square. You need to cut this rectangle. You need to cut this whole thing. So that's why it might look kind of odd when you open it in silhouette studio. It's not, you're not really going to tell that. It's just going to look like a white canvas with some black text on it and then red squares. You're not really going to tell that it's this thing, but because your printer doesn't have white ink, it, if anything that prints white on your inserts or your planner stickers or whatever that you have that may print like a pure white color is just printing with it's there's no ink coming out so it's it's not that you have white ink it's that it's printing clear it's printing nothing it's not using ink at all so you will want to be printing this on a laser 
printer uh, because the laser toner, the toner that your laser printer uses, and I'll link the laser printer that I have, um, is is what reacts with the heat and the foil and makes the foil adhere to your paper. So I keep going back and forth, like I think I said, on whether or not it's worth it to do a foiling at home or not. And it just seems like sometimes the, the foiling comes out perfectly and sometimes it doesn't. If you have more tips for me, because I've been trying this since... I don't know, I got the, Zach bought me the, the toner printer for, or laser printer for Mother's Day. And it just seems like half the time I can get it to work, the other half I can't. And so I'm like, am I wasting money? I don't know. So we'll go to make it. And what you want to do, it shows these little like gray lines or whatever. You don't necessarily need that. I think we can turn the bleed off uh, or not necessarily need it. It's not necessarily going to print. This is some sort of um, display error or how it renders for print and cut. Um, it may also, you may also have a little bit of gray lines when you print it, but when you cut it, those should be cut by your Cricut and so they should go away. Um, you'll want to print this. I will link it uh, as well on clear to make the overlays at least on clear sticker paper. I get mine from online labels and you're gonna wanna print it on clear sticker paper. So we're gonna hit continue, uh, send to printer. We can take off the bleed, leave the bleed. It doesn't really matter. Sometimes for my Cricut at least, if I leave the bleed on and this, this doesn't really matter again because um, it's white around it, so it doesn't really matter. It might cause a little bit of gray to show up, but again, that shouldn't matter because your Cricut should just cut that line and you shouldn't see it on your final project when you lay your stickers down. Um, for my Cricut, at least, adding the bleed for some reason helps it calibrate better because you would... You would think that doesn't matter because the bleed is just to help you if your Cricut cuts just a slight bit off. But if I turn the bleed off, if I print two of these with one with the bleed on, one with the bleed off and cut them, the one with the bleed is going to cut better. And that shouldn't have anything to do with how your registration marks are laid out on your paper. So I'm going to choose my brother, uh, HL L2300D series printer because that's my laser printer. Um, I am just going to hit print because I believe that should be sufficient enough. Uh, whatever the default settings are should be sufficient enough. And that's the thing is I haven't found the perfect settings for this. I know I tell you guys all the time, like use the most perfect best print settings and you'll get real crisp pictures and stuff, but I, it's either too much toner or too little toner. I don't, I don't know. I haven't found something perfect yet. Um, so once this goes to print, then I will meet you over and do some foiling and I'll give you some tips there and then we'll cut it and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so after you print it, you're going to print it on your clear sticker paper. A squirrel just ran by my window. Um, and this is what you're going to have. You can see you can't tell that there's like the boxes behind it. That's just to tell your Cricut where to cut. You're going to want to foil this what I have found, the best way to do something is to, or best way to foil, is to foil this before you cut it. Now, I don't have a mink. I'm letting my laminator heat up here. I just have a laminator from Amazon. And I tape two pieces of printer paper together to use as my, like, carrier, my envelope to go through because I don't think that the... I don't know. Maybe it would be better if you had a mink. I think I may. I had. I want a mink um, from what's her name? Charmaine. It starts with the D. Do Lake. I know I'm mispronouncing that. Um, at the Chicago Planner Meetup in 2017, I think it was 2016, 2017, and I never used it because I was like, I'm not into foiling. But I kept it, and then when we moved here. I gave it away and so I think I'm gonna get another mink um, because maybe it gets hotter than a laminator I'm not sure sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't uh, what I'm getting at is I have the little carrier pouches for the mink but I don't think it lets the heat of the laminator pass through as well so because this is printed on um, clear shiny sticker paper your Cricut is going to have a hard time reading the registration marks additionally because this is heating the toner is heating up again when it's passing through your laminator the the if you don't put clear transparent matte ish yeah this is the matte tape 
over your registration marks. Um, the registration marks will transfer to your carrier envelope, whether it's the plastic one from Mink or two pieces of paper taped together. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you put the transparent type of tape, or not transparent, uh, the matte, if that makes sense, yeah, like the matte tape over your registration marks. Now, we know that the Cricut doesn't read like every registration mark. So actually, I don't know if that's enough. You'll want to make sure you're covering enough of your registration marks. Same thing for if you're doing this with the silhouette. You want to cover your registration marks with this clear tape, or not clear, the tra uh, not transparent either, the, the matte, whatever this type of tape is, magic scotch tape. It's like, a, it makes it more matte looking. So you're going to want to do that, whether this is for silhouette or for your Cricut because your Cricut's going to have a hard time reading these registration marks and the toner is going to transfer when you heat it up with your laminator. I don't have scissors. I'm just going to tuck this pine. I think it'll be okay. Um, I may be overdoing it because I don't think that the Cricut is going to read all of this, but I want to be better safe than sorry. You know, might have to cut that off and do this as well. Okay. You want to keep it as close to the edge as possible too. And then if there's like any bubbles or anything, and even just in general, I would try to get them out and run your finger over the lines so that they're at still as dark as possible because you're going to leave this on when cutting. Okay, so now we have this. Let's get this out of the way. Take this tape off of my hand. Um... I do use the mink foil. Now I don't, I think I'm gonna use, I'm gonna see how this works. This is a smaller like sample size. You can also get the big rolls that they, you have to cut. Six and one, half a dozen the other cost is a big thing, but I mean, you know, these are not big enough, you know, to do this whole thing. So I may cut my own little piece here, but if you want to try out different colors of foil, these little guys, are good. Um, if anybody has any other foil recommendations, please leave them below because I cannot find a good hollow foil that transfers nicely. It just doesn't. So, and I'm going to make the biggest fool of myself trying to cut this. So please laugh or don't laugh. I don't care. I have to get <laughs> scissors. So, you want to cut this it's kind of like cutting wrapping paper I know I'm creating so much glare and we hope we've cut it wide enough looks like we have and I'm doing this backwards so or upside down rather so don't the matte side of your foil is what's going to go face down. And then, of course, as always, save your little bitties. So, I've also realized that one best practice is to do this. Maybe you might want to use a brush because I don't know if any oils from your hands are going to affect this. Again, I don't know if it's worth it to foil at home. So then we'll lay this over and it gets sort of staticky clingy, which is good. And the reason why I kind of brush that off is because you can see there's like something stuck. I hope you can see there's like a little bump under here and that will cause the foil not to adhere. I'm trying to get it out of the way. I don't know. So. Again, there's like a little bump right there. Maybe a paintbrush or something would probably be best 
for this. Lay it down. Okay. Okay, so we have this. There's like little tape pieces for my tape being too long, but that shouldn't affect anything. So now we take our little envelope that we made. You can see here's some transfer from the uh, toner before. So we have our laminator. It's all ready to go. My laminator, the heaty part, I don't know what you want to call it, I think is down here. I think that might be a duh thing. I don't really know. So I'm going to, and it's okay if like pieces are sticking out. You don't want any of your foil sticking out though. I'm going to flip this over because the foil is right there and make it be as close to the heating element. That's what I'm trying to get at, the heating element as possible. Then I run this through, I'm crossing my fingers that this works. I run this through three-ish times um, to hopefully get it to stick. Like I said, I don't know if the mink gets hotter. I really don't know, but sometimes I have success with this and sometimes I don't. So <clears throat> we will just run this through a bajillion times and see what happens. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you guys have suggestions for heat activated, I think it's called heat reactive or heat activated foil. Let's see here. Silver reactive foil. That's just what it says on this mink thing. And it says use with mink foil applicator sold separately. But like I said, I think, I don't know if it gets hotter. We'll see. I may invest in a mink that may be um, a birthday Christmas present to myself. I don't know. And then we'll run it through again. And I'm hoping this, this design is a bit forgiving. If I try to do little icons, here, let me go get some stuff and share with you. So I made this little icon sheet. And this is using rainbow foil. And these came out pretty great. Uh, there was some stuff kind of stuck in the little... Uh, I don't know what you would call it, finer details of these guys. So I used a paintbrush and kind of scraped it away. And you can see it's caught in the um, lines of that trash can. So I used, because it's not gonna, the foil is not going to stick where there's no toner. So it kind of just gets stuck there. And then you kind of have to brush it away. So we can try try it in, make sure I'm in frame, and this one, you can see the lines of the trash can are kind of coming, becoming more clear from brushing that away. So this is mink rainbow foil. Came out pretty great, right? Here's what I tried to do with the gold. And it's hard to see because the lights are so bright, but it's really like speckly. And I'm hoping that doesn't happen with this silver one. And then the hollow doesn't stick very well. And you can see it gets in the little crevices as well. This one might be okay, but the hollow would like flake away even from the toner. And you can see, I don't know if you can see like right there, it's not, it's like a little speck of black. So it's not great for at home foiling. Here's rose gold. I don't even know if you're going to be able to see this because of how shiny it is, but there's like black specks. Like it may look perfect right here because of how shiny it is. And now that I'm looking at it in this light, it kind of does look okay. I don't know. Maybe it's the light over on my desk, but I just, I feel like it's not perfect. So I don't know if you can see the dog print paw. I don't know. So again, like I said, these this looks okay now that I'm not at night, but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's the lighting at my desk. I don't know if it's worth it to foil at home or not. I'm going to run this through one more time and I'm going to cross my fingers that it works. Um, but yeah, so I do find it helpful to use a brush to like get out the little things that are, but I don't know. Can you see like there's like black splotches? 
you know, and then the hollow doesn't even stick. I can brush it away from the, the toner. So I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it, guys. I don't know, which is, again, why it's taking me forever. I don't know where to put these. It's taking me forever to do this, but whoa, to do this uh, video for you guys. But like, where's the rainbow one? I just lost it. Why? Same foil. The rainbow one, I don't see any imperfections really and I still have to cut this sheet I haven't cut it but you can see I made it with my silhouette and I did put the um, matte tape over it so this is running through for whoa scoot my chair in the last time and honestly I don't know if it's better to let it cool down before you take the foil off or not I have no idea but here we go it's kind of warm still so you've got the foil, pull the foil off. This one I think did an okay job. Can you see that? So then now we can go, hopefully, yeah, I think this did an okay job. Cut this with the Cricut. Okay, here we go, blinding light again. I cut this off camera on my mat. Um, when I was pressing it down to the mat, I should have pulled that off a different way. When I was pressing it down onto the mat, I did like knock off some of the foiling, but I don't know. Like if you want it to be perfect, which kind of, you can't even tell. I don't know. Maybe you can see it there. If you want it to be like epically perfect. Like this, it looks okay, right? It's fine. If you, But if you're someone that like needs it to be perfectly perfect, it, foiling at home may not be for you. Um, <laughs> but it's not that much. If you already have a laminator and you have the Cricut and whatnot, maybe try and get some samples maybe of sticker paper from online labels um, or even try... I don't know, try other clear sticker papers. I don't know, maybe it's the clear sticker paper. I have no idea. Um, it's not terribly much. If you have a laminator and you can just use two pieces of paper, it's not terribly much to invest in to try it out. Something fell. But, again, I don't know. But you'll see we cut them there, the clear overlays. You just put them over your um, stickers. And then... I also designed these so that you could trim it from the page. I'm not going to do it now because my paper trimmer sucks and I don't want to ruin these. But you trim it from your page and then you can cut this little strip off and cut where I think usually I cut it here and here and then you can store these three sets in, and you can like cut these in half too and store them if you want to use those. These were just to fill up the page because the six and a half or 6.75 by 9.25 um, print and cut area is kind of wonky when it comes to fitting things in. So you can store, you would trim this, these, and these, and store these in your um, little pouch, whatever you store your foils in, and then, you know, they, they even trim up and store easily. You don't have to store them in this big page. That's what I designed this for. So check out the link in the description. You will find the printables for the um, these foil overlays and you can make your own and you can see like the bleed helped a little bit here I don't even know if you can see um, because it was starting to cut off towards the bottom yeah it was starting to cut off towards the bottom you're probably not going to see it but like all the little stars down there are cut wonky fied and so this is a pretty forgiving I think set so yeah <clears throat> excuse me and you get one two three four five six seven eight so 16 32 you get 32 of the overlays so you can use as many as you want you can use them in your sidebar you're not just like limited to whatever so do some rainbow foil too that would be fun anyway i hope you enjoyed this video i hope this foiling video was helpful for you um i will leave links down below and yeah I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Sorry it took me forever to get the foiling video for you. I'm glad this worked kind of on our first try. Um, but yeah, and I'll leave some links down below so that you can find more of these guys to print and foil. And yeah, 
If you use this, I want to see your inauguration spread, so let me know. But give this video a thumbs up, subscribe. I'd love for you to stick around, um, see what else you can make using your Cricut uh, for your planner. And yeah, I'll talk to you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.